Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Eric Porter, we're here in my backyard, and today we're gonna do a family bike check. So today's a really special day. I'll tell you why later in the video. For now, let's get started with the bikes. Owen, you wanna talk about your bike first? The reason why I like my bike is that it's a hardtail so I can carry my speed through big flowy jumps, and that's why I'm glad I don't have too much suspension. And I also like that it's one of my favorite colors. So Owen is on a Diamondback Sinker 24. This is awesome for like seven to 10 year olds, depending on how tall you are. He's about four feet tall and this bike fits him really well. You like to climb, Owen? Yeah, sure. You like downhilling better? Yeah. What's your favorite thing to hit? Probably doubles. Doubles, hitting jumps? Yeah. You just like getting in the air? So for Owen's bike, we started out with the stock Sinker 24, which comes ready to go out of the box, ready to shred, and it's pretty awesome. So it comes with a one by drivetrain, so that means a single chain ring up front, and then 11 gears in the back. And that's awesome for a kid's bike because the chain never falls off, makes it really simple. He's only got one shifter, so he's not thinking about shifting, it's just easier or harder. It's nice and quiet too, which is way better. Juno, sit. Sit. Good girl. Sit. Sit. So what did we change out on this bike, Owen? <laughs> Just the tires. So we put some Kenda Hellcat tires on here, which are a World Cup downhill tire, and they're awesome. Give them tons of traction, but still roll fast. You giving me the bunny ears? And I also switched out for some Sunring Lay wheels so that I could set it up tubeless and save a little bit of weight. Another thing I did to this bike was put this uh, Sun Tour fork on that's a little bit lighter so we could save some weight there. <laughs> and then we put the SDG bar and grips on here. So the cool thing about these is they're actually a smaller diameter so his hands fit around the grips better. The last thing I did to this bike is switch it over to Magura brakes. I've been working with Magura for a long time. They make the best brakes out there and we were able to save a little bit more weight with these and also get some more power so that he can stop and be in control all the time. Anything else about your bike you really like, Owen? Well, I can skid really well and drift. Next, we're gonna talk about the Release 29. <laughs> I love the colorway on this bike and it actually matches Owen's bike, which is pretty cool. The Release 29 is my go-to bike for longer rides. The 29 inch wheels roll fast, they get great traction, better cornering, everything like that. Just a really stable, fun bike for big days. And luckily my wife is about the same height as me. She's 5'9", so she can fit on a size large. A lot of times we'll switch back and forth and just change the suspension to fit our body weights. So I also made a few modifications on this bike from the stock one. I put some Reynolds carbon wheels on here. They're really light, super durable too, so I never smash them or break them. I upgraded the fork on this bike to a Fox 36. I'm about 200 pounds and make bad decisions and ride hard and hit big stuff. The bigger fork of the 36 is better for my body weight and just gives me a little bit more control. I put Kenda Regolith tires on this bike. They're a little bit faster rolling and a little bit lower profile, but still a full knob tire. That works better for the bigger, longer days that I'm doing. And then I went with the Deity cockpit up here. It's got their 35 carbon bars, matching grips too, because why not make your bike look awesome? Then I added some electronics as well. So we've got the Viron from Magura. So this is a wireless dropper post. And then I went with the SRAM Axis drivetrain. So this is also wireless really cleans up the cockpit, brings it down to just two hoses for your front and back brake, and looks awesome and works amazing too. Okay, let's check out my baby now. My all-time favorite bike in the Diamondback lineup is the Release 5C. So this is a 27.5 inch wheel bike. It's got 130 rear travel, 150 front travel. It's just so nimble and playful and it rides kind of like a dirt jump bike almost except it climbs really well, it's awesome on the trail, and you can do everything on it. I swapped out a lot on this bike as well. I put the root beer colored Fox 36 on there, that's the special edition one. It's a beautiful color fork with a little bit of sparkle built into it too, so it looks awesome. The other thing I love about the grip too is how tunable it is. Depending on what I'm riding from hitting jumps or bike park one day, and then riding a big trail ride, I can tune the suspension for exactly what I'm riding that day. I also went full wireless on this bike, so I've still got the brake lines, but then I've got the Magura Viron wireless post, and I've also got the SRAM Axis drivetrain. And then I went with the new 1052 cassette too, so I've got a little bit more range than ever before. So basically, my hard gear, I can sprint at a big jump. My easy gear, I can climb the steepest thing I can climb without tipping over. And then for tires on this bike, I went with the new Kenda Pinners. So this is the Aaron Gwynn signature tire. This is made for dry conditions and World Cup racing, but it's in the trail casing, so it's a little bit lighter. Just gives you a ton of confidence. Obviously, it gets awesome traction, hooks up really well, 
But the coolest part about it is that it's really predictable. So I know exactly when it's going to break loose so that if I wanna drift a little bit, push the tires to their limit, I know when it's gonna do that and it's not gonna be a surprise break loose and scare me. For brakes on this bike, I also went with the Magura MT7s. This is a four piston brake, so it's super powerful. And then I went with 180 rotors, which is also the stock size rotor. Again, the 5C comes out of the box, dialed, ready to go at an awesome price point. But I just wanted to take it to the next level and make the best bike I possibly could, which I'm pretty excited about. Whoa, that's a cool way to put your flip flops on. Milo, tell us about your bike. So now we're gonna talk about Milo's bike. This is a Diamondback Sinker Carbon. So this is an aggressive hardtail for trail riding and pretty much everything. Milo uses it for bike park, for cross country. He just rode the Crest the other day on it, which is a huge cross country ride. And it's a really versatile bike and it's a hardtail. So it's keeping him smooth while also keeping it a pretty light bike for him. So Milo's bike is actually pretty stock but I did add a few things to save some weight, make it a little bit better for him. So out of the box, this bike comes with the Eagle drivetrain from SRAM. So that's one chain ring up front with a narrow wide and the clutch derailleur. I put some Reynolds carbon wheels on here that save some weight and they also have a lifetime warranty, which is rad. And then I just upgraded his tires as well. So he had some kind of micro knobby tires that rolled fast and were really light. And now I've got the Kenda Regulus on here. They're 27.5 by 2.8 width. So they're nice and wide. We can run them at like 15 PSI. So he's got great traction, it's a little more comfortable. And then I also put the Magura MT8 brakes on here. We can set these up really close to the bar so that his hands fit it really nicely. They've got tons of power and they're super light also. He's also got the tool bottle cage from Lazine on here. So he's got CO2s on the side, water bottle in the middle, and then a little tool kit in the bottom. So he's all set right there. What do you think, Milo? My wife is pretty sick. You're a lucky kid, you know that? Let's get these bikes out front, guys. Get them loaded up and then tell everybody where we're going. Okie dokie. Oh, and what'd you get on your tire? Poop. Is that funny? Yeah. We're just getting ready to load up for the trip and uh, Owen picked up something on your tire, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Now let's clean it off. Should we bring it or should we clean it? Uh, bring it. Let's clean it. Thanks, Milo. Is that a little big for you? Yeah. Do you want to show me the inside, Owen? Yeah. This is where me and Milo are riding on the trip. And then this is where my mom and dad sleep. This is the kitchen. And here is the bathroom. And then the bathroom sink. And then we got some clothes here. Awesome. We got my clothes down there and then this is the refrigerator. You guys are sleeping in the top bunk up there? Yeah, it's huge. Awesome. Way bigger than my parents. <laughs> so now for the part that I'm really excited about. We're gonna drive this rig here all the way across the country to Burn Peak. We're gonna go stay with Seth for a week. And on the way, there's a couple other spots we're gonna hit. The first one is gonna be Bentonville. They are calling themselves mountain bike capital of the world. So we can't drive across the country without stopping by the mountain bike capital of the world to see what it's all about. I'm pretty excited about that. I've been hearing about it for a long time. So let's get started on this trip and the next video will be Bentonville. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of the videos as we drive across the country to all these awesome spots and have a great time. Beep. Is that your spot, Owen? Beep. <laughs> Beep. Beep. <laughs> Are you guys excited for the trip? Yes. Where are we going, Owen? Burn Peak. You excited to try some of the features? Yes. Beep, beep, beep. What are you guys looking forward to hitting out there? Airbag. Airbag? Airbag. Should we try to make that happen? Yeah. All right. 